What are we doing here today, Bob? Uh, how to retube your 10N. We're not going to get into the power tubes because this video gets too long. Power tubes are simple. You just pull them out, you look at the numbers and the company I get them from, and you get those and you plug them back in. Okay? I, I don't want to get into all that here because the other one takes too long. Um, the, unless, I, no matter what, it takes time. And unless you have an amp that's, the numbers I'm running are between 30 and 34 from both the companies I get them from. Right, but you may, you may have an amp that says sixty-eight or seventy or seventy-two, because for a tubes while tubes that say 60. power tubes. For a while, they had a different number system, but it's the same numbers. It's between thirty and thirty-four. So don't ever ask for those numbers if you have those numbers. Call they should that always be between and thirty and thirty-four. Thirty and thirty-four. Okay. Done with the power tubes. Okay. Now, what this video is really about is preamp tubes. Okay. I've I've been using the JJs. Um, it's about. You know, ten, Michelle. It's about ten tubes to two tubes. Okay, so I have to buy ten JJs to get two that sound good and that that hold up. Okay, so that means you're going to have to do the same thing, and and this is for any amp. Okay, don't just put don't just put random uh, tubes in an amp this good. So if you're gonna if if you're gonna stick with the JJs, right, which I almost don't recommend at this point, but if you're going to Get 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 enough of them so that you can keep plugging them in until you get ones that sound as good as the ones you had. What goes wrong with them is they start making noise after a while. They can't hold up to real world guitar amp voltages. In the Gain Master, they'll last forever. Okay, but they but not there. So keep so, using JJ's in your Gain Master if you want, or vintage tubes. But I, I've gone I've gone to this tube in the amps now. Okay, forget what that says. That's just a marketing scam. Okay, but that that is a good sounding tube. Okay, it's the long plate version. Of the Russian, you know, long plate 12 AX7, which Show they the other side they call that. they call a mullard now, which really is has nothing to do with a mullard, okay? But it's a good sounding tube, and I'm finding that they may and hold up a little bit. That's what's in there better. now. That's what what's in this particular ramp right here, okay? But now 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 for the tricky part, okay? No biasing needed for the power tube. Just plug them in, you're done. Now if you're changing, if you're leaving the same, if you're buying JJs and putting them back in the preamp, you don't have to do anything. Okay. Just put them in. You just put them in. If you're changing brands, you may have to adjust the control on the top of the inside of the chassis. Or putting okay? vintage tubes. Or vintage tubes. And what, well, how you'll know it, this is all done with nothing plugged into the amp. The amp's volume on zero. Okay. Zero. This is an at idle noise that you'd only notice recording. And it's not a signal hiss. Okay, it would be a, a, a light hum, all right? And and that that you will need to remove with the control. Sometimes when you switch the brands of the preamp tubes, they have the, the filaments in a different phase than the other brand, okay? And I, I can't stand that in amps, so I have a circuit in there that erases that noise. And then you could put those tubes in for the rest of your life, and they'll stay quiet. And and usually, and this, this particular one seems to line up better with most uh, vintage tubes where you don't have to touch the control again if you set it for these but the JJ's seem to wind up and I like the JJ's they have a very nice harmonic sound and everything if you get a good one but it's your choice what you put in but I don't want this video to take forever so here's the deal second tube in okay it's got to come out to do this if you need if you find you need to make the adjustment after you've played in the pair that you want you know that that's the pair okay so what you do put your hand over the top always because you will smack that tube into that. I do it all the time. You grab the base, you wiggle that tube up and out. Okay. See that tube would have let go, would have hit the top. All right. It's not a lot of headroom in there. Look in here. Whatever that means. Look in here, Michelle. Look in the viewfinder. Make sure you're seeing it. Okay. I'm you seeing it. The thing. It looks video. like a nut with a little bit yeah, of don't a. Put that on the up. Okay. Well, I can stabilize it and show it much more clearly. Well, let me put the rag down first. Okay. There you go. See the little thing there. It's a nut with a screwdriver head on the top. Okay, now let me show you the tools you need. You don't need a tech, okay? You don't need to be a tech. It's right there. This is the simplest thing in the world to do, right? Show the tools. You need this wrench right here. This is an 11 millimeter open end wrench. 11 right? millimeters. You might not have it, you might have to go buy it, right? It's a couple of bucks. Everybody has one of these screwdriver sets. You want the smallest. This isn't that, but you want this will work. But you want the smaller one. What about those little screwdrivers used for you could, eyeglasses? You, those are fine. You could okay. use those, but you only have so much room here. And I think more people have a screwdriver set like this, 
than the little icon. Okay. okay, so the first thing you, you do is you take, amp's off now, okay? And you take that tube out, okay? And you take that 11 millimeter, you put it on that nut, and you turn it this way and just break it loose, that's all. And it not it never is to be tight, really tight, okay? Just loosen it up a little bit. The so wrench down. Slightly snug is the, har the hardest you ever want to go slightly on. Slightly snug, okay? Now you take your tube, okay, and you put your tube. After you've loosened that nut. Put your tube back in, okay, and, and this is assuming you've got the preamp tubes you, you're going to use now, because that noise isn't going to bother you from picking the right preamp tubes. As a matter of fact, you've already selected from your two yeah. out of ten right, or right. two out of four right. of right. the As types a matter of fact, that, that noise is so light, when you do this, you're going to have to put the cabinet more on here, Michelle. Remember, that has a bigger viewfinder now for the mirror the thing over there. Okay, I got so, you. So now, you turn the amp on. Okay, we're just going to simulate this because it's so simple. I don't even have to show it to you. But have the speaker cabinet up somewhere behind you on a just stool put your or something. On. All right. Cover that tube. I don't, but so you don't burn you your want arm. to. Yeah. Come in around here with your arm. Okay. That's not the place. Pull it back a bit. Okay. Put that right in there. All right. Now. You're going to listen for that sound that's not the hiss you've always heard, but a little bit of snapple sound. The crackly sound. And you're going to start turning this one way or the other. I don't care which way you turn it. It's either going to get worse or better. If it if it's, starts to get a little louder, stop. You're going the wrong way. Go the other way. Right? And it'll get dead quiet. And then go past that and keep going. And it'll get noisy that way again. Then go back to dead quiet and past it. And just so find the center. It, just find the center back and forth on the new center, okay, from, from where the old one was. And you'll know if you're going the wrong way, trust me. You'll, you'll know right away because it's not getting any better. And, and your gone. amp has come pre-adjusted for JJ tubes. So if yeah, you've got exactly. putting JJ tubes in, you never need to do this. Never need to touch it, okay. So that, This is that, only for switching to vintage that, or the other And tube. there's no, nothing wrong with that. I love them. But it's, it's, and some of them are lasting two and three years, but some of them aren't, okay. Uh, and in the preamp, you can't use these. I mean, in the in the uh, Gain Master, these are t these morons just made the glass bottle too big. They don't fit in there. So you must switch the Gain Master with JJ tubes. Or, vin or vintage tubes. Or vintage tubes. Or, or, or any 12x7 that's that's normal. Well, I don't know what they did here. Why they make a bottle so big? They barely fit in these in these so tubes. So the diameter of, of that tube that you're saying now is too big for the. Well, I got I got news for you. The JJ's are way bigger than any stock vintage tube too. I, I don't know what, what these people have never seen a real tube that make these things. I mean, okay. I, I'm a little you know yeah. Well, that's not what the it video drives me crazy. About, okay, all right. So now you know how to do it, and I'm only talking about a very light snapple hum sound. Okay, that a microphone will hear. Like all amps have it, but my amps don't. You can erase it. You can erase it with that control, and you only have to do it if you're changing brands and the noise appears. You could change brands and they won't have that noise. All right, not not all of them, you know, won't be adjusted to the same spot where I have them for the other tubes. Okay, so so it's basically right behind this second right to the left this tube. tube. Yep. Oh, and by the way, right, before you put this tube in, obviously you snug it tight again with this with this wrench. But snug it. Just just go. Eh, that's it. That's all it needs. Okay. Okay. So no torquing on. No the... torquing on that. You know that, that that's a very. Uh, I that's a specially made that control, and and and, and you know I mean just it's, for this it's not a, it's not like a car engine or something. You know you know just just barely snug it, just so that because because even if you left it loose, that control would never change. The, Unless you were transporting the amp back and forth. The snugging nut would probably possible. back off and fall out if you were transporting the amp. So just snug it, okay? And you, nobody's in there touching that. That's not going to move, you know? So um, that's it. That's It's that simple. Power tubes, just plug them in. Get the right numbers, plug them in. No bias. And, and, and while you've got the tubes out, you may as well do a little dusting and yeah, cleaning clean, clean up, up a little there. bit. Wipe it with a cloth to get the dust out and maybe... A little bit on the fan or yeah. whatever. Okay, so now you know this video. If, if, if I send this video to you, we, we don't have to spend hours on the phone. It's real simple. And you you've know. got a visual on it. Not that I don't want you to call me and talk to me, but I don't want to talk about that a hundred times. And plus, so. you, uh, you, you, you can't show it on a phone call. Yeah, now you've seen it. It's real simple. Peace out.